Hi guys, it's me, Frank Marino, out on the strip. Um, for me, it's very bittersweet to be here, but I needed to come down. First, I just want everybody to know everybody's being safe. Me and my entire crew have masks and gloves and practicing staying six feet away from each other. But being the longest running headliner in Las Vegas and getting here in 1985, the spot I'm standing in is the place where I got my first job in show business uh, on the Strip. It's the home of where the Riviera Hotel would be. Uh, it was a place where Isadora and her husband owned and made us the first hotel to have two shows in the same building. So we had Splash in the one room and they had Lacage in the other room. you are that's just lovely is everybody having a good time so far are you having a good time i am so glad to finally be back on this stage you would not believe the chaos we have going on back there we have hundreds of female superstars and they're all shaving in the same mirror <laughs> years later this spot right here I would have gotten my first star on the Las Vegas Walk of Fame. Uh, that being said, I basically, I was like 17 when I got here. I grew up in this building, so to see that it's gone now years later, it, it's very eerie to me. It's becoming uh, a parking lot for the convention center. And just being here just feels so good. I remember looking out my dressing room window and seeing the McDonald's and seeing Circus Circus. Opening night of my show, listen to this celebrity list. Liberace, Sammy Davis Jr., Red Fox, uh, who else? Just amazing people were there. We got to meet so many celebrities. I was so young, I didn't realize how cool it would be to know the Rat Pack. Got to meet Elizabeth Taylor here. I mean, things that now that I'm older mean so much, but as a young kid, I really just didn't know what, you know, that really meant. So coming back to this spot so many years later and having the whole building gone, and now because of the coronavirus, the entire strip down, I just needed to see it with my own eyes because I really can't believe it. So this is where we came first for a three month contract and stayed 25 years. And for me, it was home. It, 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 many, many great memories, lots of friends made, and uh, it's what I would call the good old days. But as time would have it, we progressed, and the next part of my journey would be Lacage closed at the Riviera, and in the interim before I opened my own show, I was a special guest in the off-Broadway hit spectacular Tony and Tina's Wedding, which was right here at the Planet Hollywood Hotel. I'm so glad to be back in Vegas uh, and to be invited to Tony and Tina's party like this. Many of you, as I was speaking to you, saw my show that I had here for 25 years called Lacage, which we just ended in February. We were doing a tour. We happened to be in California when Josephine called me to tell me her daughter was getting married, that I knew their family for many, many years. But uh, California, I gotta tell you, I was so used to playing Vegas with so many years. California, anybody from California here tonight? You're great audiences. I mean, because you're crazy people. Let's admit it. Let's be honest. It's like a bowl of grill out there. If you're not a nut or a fruit, you're a flake. <laughs> Again, my stay got extended. I was only supposed to be in the show for two weeks and ended up staying there for three months and had the best time. It was really exciting because it was outside of my comfort level, uh, but I got to do it and it was fun and I just had the best time with those people as well. So thanks to Tony and Tina's wedding. After that, all my sights were set on bringing my own show to the Strip, which was Frank Reno's Divas Las Vegas. And also, right where I'm standing is where I got my second star from Las Vegas Boulevard, which is still here. And I am now the only person on the Las Vegas Strip ever to receive two stars. I got a street named after myself. We have Frank Reno Drive. If you're going around Vegas, you might go down it. It also goes both ways. A key to the city, a key to the strip. I think they're to the back doors, but I did get keys nonetheless. And February 1st, the mayor named Frank Marino Day here in Las Vegas. So 
all those accolades were great. And I can't thank Las Vegas enough. So I can tell you, Las Vegas is my home. continues. I got hired by Caesars Entertainment to be their headlining show at what was then called the Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace then changed its name and became the Quad and later on became the Link, which is what is here now. We were here about 10 great years. I ended up having the biggest drag show in the entire world. Or superstar female impersonators. Frank Marino's Divas Las Vegas. Starring Las Vegas Entertainer of the Year, Frank Marino. You'll see superstars like Cher, Britney Spears, Liza Minnelli, Madonna, Celine Dion. These gals are really guys. Frank Marino's Divas Las Vegas at the Link Hotel and Casino. Right now! The opened the door, but Divas busted it wide open for other people to be able to perform on the Las Vegas Strip. While we were here, I had other accolades. We hit my 25,000 show on the Las Vegas Strip. We had, um, oh gosh, we were coming up on the 35th anniversary. Just lots and lots of fun. My pictures were all over this building on all these marquees and even on the one that's closed now. I have to say, today is a very somber feeling on the Las Vegas Strip. But Las Vegas is just like me. Any setback, we come back even stronger. Well, my Las Vegas story had a very happy ending. After performing all these years on the Las Vegas Strip, I got invited to join the longest running show in one of the longest running hotels. You can now see Frank Marino as Joan Rivers in the Legends in Concert show at the Tropicana Hotel, which is in my point of view, an amazing, amazing marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, Legends in Concert, the longest running show in Las Vegas, brings you the longest running headliner. With over 35 years on the Las Vegas Strip, the only performer with two stars on the Las Vegas Walk of Fame, over 25,000 performances, and over 350,000 costume changes. time and when this is all over come see us with all the great stars they change every couple of months you can see everybody from elvis to gina turner to lady gaga you name it they're there las vegas thank you and we love you